Nice, first time in here, actually, on the podium. Power in here. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's obviously be a lot of familiar there. You've got your mm -hmm. teammates. It's like, what's it like for you preparing for a game? You know, what's going on there? It's unique, for sure. Uh, you know, people reaching out from New York. Uh, but I'm trying to keep it simple. Uh, it's another game. You know, it's a nameless, faceless opponent. Uh, and that's, you know, as much as, as, as difficult as that is, that's how I have to approach this. I just have to play my game, not do anything extra, um, and just, you know, get a win on Monday night. Do you have any, I guess, lingering feelings about the Giants and, you know, maybe they're not playing you as much? <laughs> uh, you know, there are a, b a bunch of lingering feelings for sure with different people. You know, I had great relationships with the staff, um, you know, in the building, the, the kitchen staff, the people who worked around this building every day, that's who you, I'm engaging with. And so, yeah, you know, those people um, I had great relationships with. Um, from a player standpoint, I have friends still on the team. Um, I, you know, a bunch of those guys were at my wedding, like all that. Um, but, you know, there's no ill feelings. I, I, I had that moment of closure when I signed, and I'm all Seahawks now. Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, that's Jamal Adams. That's the guy. Um, so my my snaps might look a little different, um, but our defense will look a little more complex for sure. He brings a lot to the table. He's been practicing hard. He's been meeting hard. And so, yeah, it's going to look a little different going forward. Uh, and we're trying to take that step. I think we still have uh, areas we need to climb on defense, and I think him coming back will allow us to do that. I'm excited. It's been feeling good in practice so far. Uh, you know, that's those are two leaders I'm next to. Two guys have been doing it at a high level for a long time, and so I'm just trying to <laughs> raise my play uh, and do what I have to do to represent them well. You know, I think it's special. This DB room I've, I've said since the beginning is special, and so now I'm just trying to play my part in that. What part of your game was elevated when you were playing in New York? Uh so, I mean, I had three head coaches in four years in New York, uh, three coordinators. I've done it all. I've seen it all. Uh, you know, wh whatever. Uh, it, was been, it was a long four years. Um, and I don't know, I just learned to be resilient. I think, you know, those early years, my first few years, we had losing seasons. And um, I just learned to put my head down and work. Uh, and that, you know, was – Important. It was, it was all meant to be for my game and growth. Um, last year, I hit my stride, and so yeah, that's definitely it was a it was a long four years for sure. What do you think? What did you learn last year that was different? Work out playing under Wink. Yeah, Wink. I thought was a good coordinator. He uh, he understood. You know, he understood his scheme, and he lived and died by what he does, uh, which we all know. You know, it's a lot of pressure. Um, that's, that's how how he is. Um, but early on, as soon as he got there, he just kind of acknowledge what I did well in my game and let me do that. And so playing a lot of snaps last year, being the captain, um, learning how to lead guys in an intentional way, I think was all part of kind of the defensive staff that came in last year for me. And so, yeah, uh, it helped me really seize the moment and get here. How do you feel like you guys are kind of playing in the back end right now? I think we're playing solid. I think there's areas for improvement for sure. Um, the swagger's there, the energy's there. Um, we've been taking steps every game. I think there's a few areas we want to clean up. We want to be better on third down. We want to be better in situational football. Um, and so, yeah, it's never going to be perfect, but we're going to try to get as perfect as we can, uh, which should be an endless pursuit for us. You probably know Daniel Jones uh, more than most people. Like, what, what's it like facing him? Yeah, it's, uh, I've faced him a lot over the past uh, bunch of years. Um, he's a guy who uh, works hard. He was the first in the building, last to leave um, every day. And I know how much he puts into it. And yeah, I know him, and I know he's he knows how I play as well, and so it's kind of that battle um, going to this game. And yeah, he's a guy who can make all throws. He runs that has incorporated in his game more these past a couple of seasons. Lead with his his legs, um, and yeah, we have to take advantage. Does a uh, prime time game in New York have any different feel than the Sunday afternoon games? Or? Uh, for sure. Uh, <laughs> yeah, those those games in New York, the Monday night games, the Sunday night. Um, yeah, I mean, everyone's around. Uh, it's the bright, or the lights are bright for sure uh, in that stadium. 
Uh, and so, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's always been a fun experience. And so, you know, we're wearing the all whites. You know, we got some energy and some swagger going down there. Uh, Seahawks have been pretty good in MetLife. Uh, and so, oh, uh, yeah, I noticed that. And so I'm looking to continue that. We just had Jeff Lewis and Gary now got two starts under his belt. Yeah. What have you seen out of him? I mean, that little guy has some fire to him. Uh, you see him. He's not little, but you see, you see him throw all his weight into these tackles, play with swagger. He has an unlimited amount of celebrations, it seems like, and so he's using all of them. Uh, he has been electric for this defense and just confident. You know, you don't see rookies that are that confident. And he's come in and obviously missed the first game. Uh, he was missing most of camp because, you know, he was, he was battling, re rehabbing, uh, whatever he was rehabbing. And, yeah, he's come in and has – impacted this defense in a positive way, which is huge. And now I'll just keep taking steps forward from him. What does that confidence look like? You say confident. Like, what, what gives you that? I mean, <laughs> you'll hear him around the corner. He is a guy who is just, you know, he's a ball player. He's a, he's a guy, my locker's right next to him, and so I, <laughs> I'm used to how he operates. I mean, he'll have headphones on before practice, kind of getting into that zone. That's just kind of how he attacks the game of football, which is special. Not, I've seen a lot of guys in that position of being an early draft pick, you know, expectations, this and that. Um, and he's just taking it in stride and understood what it means, you know, to be a Seahawk, to be a competitor, to play that style that uh, Coach Carroll loves. And, yeah, I think he's, he's done it very well. All right, y'all. Appreciate you.